Hey, what's going on, Doris? How are you? Hi, teacher and everyone. I'm fine, thank you. And you? Excellent. I'm happy to hear that. Well, thank you. today has been an awesome day. In the morning, I went to the park jogging and I ran two miles. Then in the afternoon, I lifted weights and did cardio. And then around four, I did weights again. Okay, a fitness life. <laughs> well, I try, I try to keep a clean diet and I try to eat healthy and exercise every day, sleep eight hours, don't stress, you know. How wow. old <laughs> how, how old are you? Sorry? How old are you? I'm 28 years old. 28 years yeah. old. <laughs> oh, wow. You are so young. <laughs> and you? Oh, I don't even want <laughs> to stay. <laughs> okay. But you can see my... In my <laughs> I am not a young man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, did you? Yeah, yeah. I remember when I was 28. <laughs> the golden years. The best. <laughs> the best Time. years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. I completely agree. And what do you, what do you do in your work? What what is your what what is your what do you do? Mm, I do uh, a lot of activities because um, we pay the next year, uh, Friday mm -hmm. all the payroll mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the same Friday. Mm -hmm. We have, we will have a summer party mm -hmm. in human resources. Mm -hmm. We we are organizing the mm -hmm. party. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Only that. And when you organize the summer parties, do you rent a, uh, let's say a venue, a restaurant, or is it in the office? Or do you guys go to the beach or how does that work? No, in the office, but uh, with a diner, DJ for mm -hmm. seven hours. Wow, and wow. How do you say batucada, teacher? Batucada, batucada is batucada. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Wow. Also by the car. Mm -hmm. And drinks. <laughs> oh, I would like to be invited to that party. All you can drink. <laughs> okay. Micheladas over <laughs> <You are> here. <laughs> I don't drink, teacher. <laughs> oh. Only water. <laughs> oh, well, that's me. okay. More for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Excellent, Doris. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Marvin Kalix. Hello, DJ. What, How are you? What's going on? Back in action. How was your day? My day was very, very nice. Your um, I was uh, planning some purchase, mm -hmm. purchase, purchases, right? purchases. Yes, purchases mm -hmm. for equipment in my, at my office to okay. make a printer, some computers. Okay. And okay. We were making a budget for mm -hmm. make that purchases. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Sounds yeah. like you're having fun. What kind of computers are you gonna buy? Uh, I'm going to buy a 
HP. HP, uh huh. HP with uh, a hard, uh, a solid hard drive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, with a uh, memory RAM mm -hmm. to eight gigabytes. Okay. With a microprocessor with uh, like e e five. Yeah. Wow. It, Looks like it's gonna be a a nice laptop. Yes, it's for me. <laughs> oh, I can see that you're gonna you're gonna have fun right there. <laughs> yeah, I need that. As uh, I like to um, improve a lot of uh, software and program in mm -hmm. in my free time, mm -hmm. and I love to with the technology uh, mm -hmm. doing a lot of things. Okay, yeah, technology. There's no limits to what yeah. you can do with technology. So yeah, it's yes. incredible. It's incredible. It's it's incredible the way that things are going. All right, thank you, Marvin. Okay, let, thank you. let me have Mirna. Hello, teacher, how are you? Very good, how was your day? Very nice, teacher. What did you do today? I work in the morning mm, to be in a meeting and attend a client's um, a little bit of art. A little bit of this and a little bit of that in my life. <laughs> I just need a little bit of this and a little bit of that in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so I imagine that you are very busy. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, how many hours do you usually work? Almost seven or eight. Every day? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. That's not bad. No. Yeah. I start to work at eight and a half. Mm -hmm. And I out of my work um five o'clock. Oh, that's not too bad. Mm -hmm. Yes, in Santa Ana, my work is near from home, mm -hmm. almost uh, half hour okay because okay. because traveling from salvador work is uh hard oh wow and okay. i am very well here in santa okay. ana city mm -hmm. and how long have you been working there yeah uh, i i tell you all I take almost half half hour for arrive my work. Okay, okay. Yes, and me. and how many years have you been working in this company? Almost seven, yes, it's eighteen, sixteen, sixteen. Sixteen years. Wow, that's good time. Yeah. Good time. Good time. Okay, very good. Thank you, Mirna. Alexander okay. Munoz, how, how are, are you? you? <laughs> good, very good. How was your day today? Good, really good in the morning. And I went with my daughter, uh, her school. Uh, after I go into the office, but uh, a little bit like uh, 30 minutes, no more, and come back to my house. Mm -hmm. uh, later, um, uh, I I went to pick up my daughter, mm -hmm. uh, finish the class. Mm -hmm. And afternoon, I tried to uh, connect um, chime, mm -hmm. timbre, a uh, bell, a bell, a bell. bell. Mm -hmm. But it's not good. It's not good for me right mm -hmm. now. I try to <laughs> to. To know what happened because it's no function right now, but oh. maybe tomorrow. <laughs> oh, okay. And this uh, the bell is for your door, or what is the bell for? It's for the house because oh, the it's house, a, it's house a, bell. Yes, house bell. It's, the, it's camera with bell, but all oh, the don't know new, what. the new, um, the new Amazon doorbells. 
yes, yes. I saw but those. I, those are but nice. I, but I don't know what happened because just this uh connect the this cable and this cable put in, but I don't know, it's no light, yellow light. I don't know. Maybe well, tomorrow I ask about that. Yeah, you should go <laughs> back with the receipts and tell yeah. them that, you know, hey, this is expensive. I need mm -hmm. you to fix it. Yes, but you know, when we uh, tried the first time that after the, the connect the cables, the, the bell, the old bell, mm -hmm. uh, appear a uh, smoke. <laughs> yes, and, <laughs> and I, hey, please uh, uh, turn off the light, turn off the, the bottom, et cetera, et cetera. But I don't know what happened. The, I don't know the camera is, is uh is that much oh, i don't know but maybe tomorrow i try to again okay <laughs> well good luck if not you tell them hey give me my money back <laughs> okay 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 yes good. yes good. all right welcome back guys uh we're going to go ahead and get into the platform in yesterday's class we finished with section 3.2 knowledge check. We're going to go over the answers uh, to this one today. Let me have, um, let me have Ivania, please read the answer for number one. Um, Bangkok, which is the capital of Thailand, has many excellent restaurants and markets. Perfect. Marvin, read number two. Uh, Hong Kong was a British colony until 90, 1997, when it was returned to China. Perfect. Mirna. Answer number three. Busan is a busy port city that is located in South Korea. Excellent. Alexander, read number four. Bogota, which is situated on a high plateau in Plateau. Central Plateau. 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 Plateau in central Colombia has frequently changing weather. Excellent. Answer is Bogota, Bogota, which is situated on a high plateau in central Colombia has frequently changing weather. Perfect, perfect. All right, now at this moment, do you guys have any questions? Do you have any doubts about pronunciation, meaning or anything that has to do with this vocabulary? Yes. Teacher. Okay. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry. No. No. Go. Roxana. Oh, I have. I have problem with the with number four. Mm -hmm. Is incorrect. Bogota, comma, which mm -hmm. is situated in, on a high plateau in central Colombia, comma has frequently changing weather. Mm -hmm. It is correct in that way, but it's incorrect when when I send. Let me go ahead and send it to you like this. The space between the comma. Could I have be. a problem. Could be. I'm going to share it with you on the Zoom chat so Please. that everybody can copy and paste. Maybe that's going to help. But, but I wrote, wrote in that way with commas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I really I really don't know what I, what happened on that one. Teacher, mm -hmm. in the platform after Bogota, mm -hmm. don't space. Don't yes, have there space. is no Oh, it doesn't space. have no space. Okay, could be the spaces. No space. Could be the spaces, yeah. Mm -hmm. Try it like that. Okay. Oh my God. 
All right, let's look at number five, Ana Pineda, number five. Wait. Yes. Number five. Number five. Montreal is a sophisticated city, comma, where some of the best cuisine in Canada is found. Perfect. Cuisine. The pronunciation is cuisine. 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 Uh huh. Cuisine. All right. The next one is. Let me have. Roxana, number six. Number six. Okay, teacher. Sao Paulo, which comma, yeah, which is, which is the biggest city in Brazil, is also in Brazil, comma is also one of the world's most popular cities. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Sir, excuse me if huh? you can share the answer because I have problem in that. What number? Six. Yes, of course. Please. Yes. Thanks. Yes, of course. Thank you. There you go. Okay. Now, guys, what we are going to do is move forward. We're going to be looking at section 3.3, lesson objective. In this class, participants will learn vocabulary to talk about CDs. What makes a CD? Alexander, what makes a CD? Okay, the idea is, is read? read? No. No, 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 no. In your opinion, what makes a CD? Oh. Uh, it's, it, it's about the action in the city or the, what means the city? Uh, for example, for example, if, in my opinion, mm -hmm. A city needs a movie theater. A city oh. needs malls. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Okay. It Hospitals. is about okay, about San Salvador? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, tell me, let's... tell me about San Salvador City. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe. San Salvador City need a uh, uh, how do you say a uh, like a, a change but in capital but exactly for example clean the capitals because the idea is what the, in the other cities or the other countries if when you visit some places like a, the capital maybe it's San a Francisco clean. California yes. And for example, for example, you need um, maybe more, uh, not exactly, not exactly uh, a more, but maybe need more space, but to fund, but the, the fund, but in security around the, these, these places, because people are, oh, I would like to go to the San Salvador center, okay, but maybe I, 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 I am afraid because I have a, no. I don't want to go to the <laughs> Salvador downtown. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh, okay, okay, uh-huh. This, this is a problem, this, maybe you need a, a, a security, maybe you need a, a okay, two, uh, maybe a, how do you say, modification, it, it, but it's around the, the Around the place, for example, is is capital San Salvador uh, at the some park, but around the some park, maybe it's necessary to to order, mm -hmm. maybe a uh, security, mm -hmm. maybe uh, create new places mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. around this 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 park, this mm -hmm. parks, 
for example, or mm -hmm. these new places. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's important, a specific, but is it in not a specific in San Salvador, maybe mm -hmm. in, in all El Salvador, mm -hmm. the culture for people. That's because right. What happened, because what happens is you clean the, the capital or you clean the city, mm -hmm. but people are dirty. That's right. Uh -huh. That's dirty right. That, the city. That's mm -hmm. right. So lack of education. Yes. More yes. education. More education. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Roxana, in your opinion, what makes a city? Uh, you have a lot of traffic mm -hmm. <laughs> in a mm -hmm. city, mm -hmm. buildings. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know that you say theater. Uh, so, zoo? Mm -hmm. A zoo, a zoo, uh -huh. a zoo, um, parks. Okay, okay. I don't know. <laughs> okay, sounds good, sounds good. Hospitals. Yeah. Churches. Huh? Churches. Churches, I was gonna say bars, <laughs> churches, <laughs> discotheques, clubs, discotheques, clubs. yeah, yeah, okay, restaurants, okay. restaurants, karaoke, yes, yes, <laughs> okay, we're going to listen to the video. We're going to listen to the video. Please take notes. Okay. Describing a city, architecture, cuisine, customs. Hi, let's go over some words which will help you talk a little bit about your city. Describing a city architecture, cuisine, costumes, festival, historical sites, nightlife, scenery, shopping. What are some important features for you? Talk to your classmates and teacher about the ideal place for you to live in. Try to use the words just learned. Scenery, shop. All right, repeat please, architecture. 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 Cuisine. 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 Customs. 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 Festivals. 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 Historical sites. Historical, Historical sites. sites. Nightlife. 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 Scenery. 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 Shopping. 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 At this moment, do you have any questions related to this vocabulary? Cuisine. What is the meaning? Cuisine means basically the food. Scenery. Right, for example, you say Salvadorian cuisine, pupusas, nuegaros, pastelitos, yuca, eh, yuca frita, yuca. Canol, canoas, eh, eh, mangoñada, tamales, <laughs> right? chilate, chilate, enchiladas, <laughs> chuco, <laughs> elote loco, right? So all of this is Salvadorian cuisine. With cuisine. So I basically, it. it's uh, the menu. Uh huh. Scenery. Scenery. The scenery is vistas. Scenery. scenery. Vistas. vistas. Ah. Scenery. Scenery. Vistas de qué? De, eh, de alto. No, 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 no. Vistas. Vistas. Ah, for example, vistas. For example, eh, when you go to a eh, for Los example, planes. Los Planes de Renderos has a beautiful scenery. La scenery. Vista. Uh -huh. 
or when you go to El Volcan, you see the beautiful scenery. La vista. Uh, what is the difference with landscape? It's the same thing. The difference okay. that landscape does not emphasize beautiful, right? Landscape can be, for example, uh, for example, in the United States, there is a profession called landscaping. That means moldear la tierra. So basically um, people, people go to your door in your house and they say, hey, I noticed that you have a garden in front of your house. We are landscapers. If you want, we can make your garden look beautiful. We can uh, recover your tree. We can help you make your garden more beautiful. So it's landscaping. Okay. But also you can say the landscape of El Salvador is beautiful. We have volcanoes, we have lakes, mm -hmm. we have beaches, we have lagoons, we have rivers, right? So that would be the general landscape. I have a question, Mike. In sometimes people informal say hey it's a good picture ah, ah. correct mm -hmm. well if it's in a picture picture yes but if it's in a natural environment no ah okay. i i heard to a spot i'm sorry it's the same a spot it's the same oh you can say for example that's a nice spot but that's a nice place. Uh -huh. It's an informal way to say location or place. Mm -hmm. And I heard also uh, sightseeing, something like that. Correct, correct. If you say, when, for which example- Which is referring with scenery? Uh, the difference is that sightseeing is the actual action, right? You mm -hmm. say, hey, I went sight seeing to Guatemala. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. That means that you went to the beautiful places in mm -hmm. Guatemala. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the word mm -hmm. scenery is more used, for example, when you are in the place, right? Imagine mm -hmm. that you are there with your husband, your wife, and you say, hey, this is a beautiful scenery, right? Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Está bonita la vista, ¿verdad? ¿Te gusta? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Or some people say, hey, I have my own spot. I have my own place, my own apartment or my own house. It's also another context. All right. So in this activity, I would like for you to look okay. at these uh, words. And I want you to give me at least five sentences using this vocabulary describing El Salvador. What are some important features for you? And you are going to write the examples at the bottom on the discussion forum. You can write the same examples as your partner. You will have five minutes and then we will go over the examples as a class. Any questions? No. Let's go, five minutes. to do sentences. Okay. Um, 
I don't know you want to start. Who can I start? Hi. Okay. I think El Salvador is famous for his cuisine, typical food, pupusas, okay. and a lot of, a lot of famous I think food. El Salvador is famous for his cuisine, typical food. For it. Or what? For cuisine, cuisine, something like that. Typical food. We can mention some some food pupusas. Okay, for cuisine, like, like pupusas, mm -hmm. tamales, yeah. ah. <laughs> crazy okay. corn, crazy corn, crazy corn, yes. <laughs> okay, another, ah, for it's lace, tribe. Drivers. I can hear lakes, lakes, drivers, mountains, volcanoes. And okay, but what is the 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 sentence? Uh, These are sentences. I think I heard that it, we have to make five sentences. Ah, okay. Okay. Okay, I don't know if another, if another can do a sentences. Doris? Do you have a sentences? El Salvador has typical festivals for example, um, a San hotel Miguel is festivals. San Miguel for Carnival. Example, for examples, festival, a, a Jocotes festival ah. in San Lorenzo, Aguachapan. Okay. Okay. I don't know what is the the correct translated. <laughs> okay, another um uh, Surma. Um is no no. El Salvador has beautiful places. Like Lago de Yopango. Okay. Oh, yes. Um, and El Tunco Beach. Place. And Tunco Beach. Okay. Tunco Beach. And. Um, and. Uh, and. What the Lake? Okay. I have never been at Ilopango Lake. It's, it's I, I have to go. Yes, you, you should. <laughs> okay, another could be um, uh, 
I love um, nightlife in San Salvador because you um, you can um, you can have a good time. Um, dancing, drinking, <laughs> yeah, singing, and other activities. Yeah, I love nightlife or oh, night nightlife in San Salvador because you can have a good time dancing, drinking, singing, and other activities with your friends. With your friends. Okay. Four. Number five. Who's next? Mina, you do you have another example? I was thinking. Okay. Or Doris, I don't know. Could be with um Custom, customs or shopping. Okay, I have one. Um, 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 San Salvador Century. Century is a good place to shopping. I don't know if it's correct, San Salvador Center, center or center. Where is the correct? Center. center, right? Yes. Okay. It's a good place to shopping. Okay, another? Another. What the Peque Lake, Lake has a beautiful scenery. Okay. What the Peque Lake has a beautiful scenery. Okay. When he when it has a, uh, how do you say, turquesa color? Ah, uh, when, turquesa. It has, when it's changed the, your color, mm -hmm. changes the color to, uh, I don't know if it's correct. Uh -huh. It changed. Turquesa. Uh, 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 turquoise. 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 Uh, okay. When it changes with S, with S, right? Letter S. <laughs> Okay. Do you have another or? Oh. Is everybody finished or do you need more time?
Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Mm. Finish. Finish. Okay, Alex. Okay. Let me have your examples, Alex. Okay. Number one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, hey. Give me a second, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number one. The scenery in Volcano of Santa Ana is amazing. Excellent. The Salvadorian cuisine is delicious. Excellent. In San Salvador, there are new interesting places to shop in technology. Excellent. Bitcoin City. <laughs> yes. Okay. The, Sag the Sagrado Corazon Church is one of the oldest beautiful architecture around El Salvador. Excellent. Okay. The Jocote Corona Festival in Cerro Verde is famous in El Salvador. Perfect. Okay. All right. Perfect. Good job, Alex. Thank Let you. Let me have one more volunteer that wants to share the examples. Another volunteer. Zulma Yamilet Morales. <laughs> <laughs> Volunteer Zulma Yamilet. Okay, she's not there. Doris. Okay, now I'm going to I'm going to share. It. Oh, okay, go ahead. Okay. First El Salvador has no, no. I think El Salvador is famous for its cuisine, like pupusas, elotes locos, and, and tamales. Mm -hmm. El Salvador has beautiful places like Ilopango Lake, mm -hmm. El Tunco Beach, and Coatepeque Lake. Nice. El Salvador has typical festivals. For example, um, give me a second. For example... San Lorenzo Festival, Jocote Festival in San Lorenzo. Mm -hmm. I love nightlife in San Salvador because you can have a good time dancing, drinking, singing, and other activities with your mm -hmm. friends. Excellent. Perfect. Perfect. All right. I know everybody okay. wants to participate, but we got to move forward, guys. If you are not finished, that's your homework. For the next activity, we are going to be analyzing the listening activity about Carlos and Vicky talk about San Francisco, California. Money, 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 money in San Francisco. Rich, 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 rich. Million dollar mansions in San Francisco. Yeah, San Francisco is rich. Okay. No show money in San Francisco, California. Okay. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I'm fine, and you? Good, very good, really good. Okay, okay let me see. Three point five. Okay, yes. let's see more. Share a screen. Share. Can you watch? Yes. Yes, yes. I can. Okay, let's start. Listen to Carlos and Vicky talk about San Francisco. Who seems to like the city better? Hi, guys. Hi. Hiya. Thanks for agreeing to meet me here on such short notice. No problem. Well, listen, as I said to you on the phone, I'm doing a story for a magazine. I'm interviewing foreign students to get their impressions of different cities in America. 
Uh, well, this should only take about 10 minutes or so. Let's see. Uh, do you mind if I tape record our interview? Oh, no, not at all. Okay, then. Carlos, why don't we start with you? What do you think of San Francisco? How do you like it here so far? It's okay, I guess. Oh, you don't sound very enthusiastic. No, no, I like it. It's just that I've been so busy studying. I haven't had much time to explore the city. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, and when I have the time, well, it's so cloudy and foggy here, especially in the summer. I never thought I'd be wearing a sweater in July. Well, this is Northern California. Hey, maybe you should move south. I hear Los Angeles is warmer. Vicky? Oh, I love it here. I think this is a beautiful city. The rolling hills, the views of the bay. It's very romantic. Yeah. So how do you guys spend your free time? Well, I'm studying architecture and I'm somewhat of a photographer. Really? Oh, I'm just an amateur. Anyway, I, I'm always taking pictures of the buildings in the city. You know, the Victorians, the modern skyscrapers downtown. There's such a variety of buildings in the city. The architecture is really great. I've also taken pictures of other landmarks like the Golden Gate Bridge. It looks totally different when the weather changes. Wow, that's interesting. Uh, well, Vicky, it's your turn. What do you like to do? I'm a bit of a night person. There's always a new club or a film or a great outdoor cafe to check out with my friends. And we also like to explore the different neighborhoods. It's pretty easy thanks to Bart. That's Bay Area Rapid Transit. Yeah, that's a great subway system. Anyway, yesterday we went to the Italian neighborhood, North Beach, to buy some pastries and have a cup of espresso. Today, I'm going down to the Mission District to get a burrito for lunch. Hey, sounds like you like to eat Mexican food. Yes, and actually, I like the Mission a lot. It's a Latino neighborhood. We don't have anything like that where I come from. Um, uh, well... That's about it. Any final comments? No, not really. I'd just like to say that this is a great place to live. I'm glad that I got a chance to study here. Hello, Anna, Hello. Mm -hmm. Carlos or Vicky? Uh, Vicky. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's Vicky. Okay. Okay, listen again, type in the city feature that Carlos and Vicky mentioned. Okay, again. I wrote uh, San Francisco. San Francisco. Yeah, but the, the, the city features. But, uh-huh. ¿Qué características? Type in the city characteristics that Carlos and Vicky mentioned. ¿Qué características mencionaron? Ambos, together. Oh. Ajá. Uh -huh. I need to listen again, ¿ok? Por eso la tengo mala. <laughs> ok. Ok. Who seems to like the city better? Hi, guys. Hi. Thanks for agreeing to meet me here on such short notice. No problem. Well, listen, as I said to you on the phone, I'm doing a story for a magazine. I'm interviewing foreign students to get their impressions of different cities in America. Uh, well, this should only take about 10 minutes or so. Let's see. Uh, do you mind if I tape record our interview? Oh, no, not at all. Okay, then. Carlos, why don't we start with you? What do you think of San Francisco? How do you like it here so far? It's okay, I guess. Oh, you don't sound very enthusiastic. No, no, I like it. It's just that I've been so busy studying. I haven't had much time to explore the city. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, and when I have the time, well, it's so cloudy and foggy here, especially in the summer. I never thought I'd be wearing a sweater in July. Well, this is Northern California. Hey, maybe you should move south. I hear Los Angeles is warmer. Vicky? Oh, I love it here. I think this is a beautiful city. The rolling hills, the views of the bay. It's very romantic. Yeah. So how do you guys spend your free time? Well, I'm studying architecture and I'm somewhat of a photographer. Really? Oh, I'm just an amateur. Anyway, 
I, I'm always taking pictures of the buildings in the city. You know, the Victorians, the modern skyscrapers downtown. There's such a variety of buildings in the city. The architecture is really great. I've also taken pictures of other landmarks like the Golden Gate Bridge. It looks totally different when the weather changes. Wow, that's interesting. Uh, well, Vicky, it's your turn. What do you like to do? I'm a bit of a night person. There's always a new club or a film or a great outdoor cafe to check out with my friends. And we also like to explore the different neighborhoods. It's pretty easy thanks to BART. That's Bay Area Rapid Transit. Yeah, that's a great subway system. Anyway, yesterday we went to the Italian neighborhood, North Beach, to buy some pastries and have a cup of espresso. Today, I'm going down to the Mission District to get a burrito for lunch. Hey, sounds like you like to eat Mexican food. Yes. And actually, I like the Mission a lot. It's a Latino neighborhood. We don't have anything like that where I come from. Uh, well, that's about it. Any final comments? No, not really. I'd just like to say that this is a great place to live. I'm glad that I got a chance to study here. Anna and Doris. Uh, I wrote a romantic architecture. Romantic to uh, uh, Carlos and Vicky say the same. Uh, I think that is this one. It's not explore. No. Actually, I, I, I'm not sure, okay? Mm -hmm. In the number three? Carlos. Is the number four? Vicky. Vicky. Is the number five? Vicky. Vicky. Okay, okay. But, okay, try. Oh, yes. It is. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Type in the city features that Carlos and Vicky mentioned. Mm -hmm. I, I, I look it in the translator. Mm -hmm. Escriba las características de la ciudad que Carlos y Vicky mencionan. Ah, uh, yes. Uh -huh. and, I, and I heard romantic. Okay, try. I don't know. No, it's wrong. Romantics. Romantic. Try, try. No. We have a time. Do you want to listen again? Yes. Okay. Okay. Listen to Carlos and Vicky talk about San Francisco. Who seems to like the city better? Hi, guys. Hi. Hiya. Thanks for agreeing to meet me here on such short notice. No problem. Well, listen, as I said to you on the phone, I'm doing a story for a magazine. I'm interviewing foreign students to get their impressions of different cities in America. Uh, well, this should only take about 10 minutes or so. Let's see. Uh, do you mind if I tape record our interview? Oh, no, not at all. Okay, then. Carlos, why don't we start with you? What do you think of San Francisco? How do you like it here so far? It's okay, I guess. Oh, you don't sound very enthusiastic. No, no, I like it. It's just that I've been so busy studying. I haven't had much time to explore the city. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, and when I have the time, well, it's so cloudy and foggy here, especially in the summer. I never thought I'd be wearing a sweater in July. Well, this is Northern California. Hey, maybe you should move south. I hear Los Angeles is warmer. Vicky? Oh, I love it here. I think this is a beautiful city. The rolling hills, the views of the bay. It's very romantic. Yeah. So how do you guys spend your free time? Well, I'm studying architecture and I'm somewhat of a photographer. Really? Oh, I'm just an amateur. Anyway, I, I'm always taking pictures of the buildings in the city. You know, the Victorians, the modern skyscrapers downtown. There's such a variety of buildings in the city. The architecture is really great. I've also taken pictures of other landmarks like the Golden Gate Bridge. It looks totally different when the weather changes. Wow, that's interesting. Uh, well, Vicky, it's your turn. What do you like to do? I'm a bit of a 
night person. There's always a new club or a film or a great outdoor cafe to check out with my friends. And we also like to explore the different neighborhoods. It's pretty easy thanks to BART. That's Bay Area Rapid Transit. Yeah, that's a great subway system. Anyway, yesterday we went to the Italian neighborhood, North Beach, to buy some pastries and have a cup of espresso. Today, I'm going down to the Mission District to get a burrito for lunch. Hey, sounds like you like to eat Mexican food. Yes. And actually, I like the Mission a lot. It's a Latino neighborhood. We don't have anything like that where I come from. Uh, well, that's about it. Any final comments? No, not really. I'd just like to say that this is a great place to live. I'm glad that I got a chance to study here. Mm -hmm. I... Welcome back, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready? Yes, of course. All right, <laughs> Alex, number one, who likes the city better? Vicky. Vicky. Part two, Marvin, colleagues, instructions, listen again. Type in the city features that Carlos and Vicky mention. Sorry, teacher, I, I cannot find the, the features. Could anybody find the features? No, in my oh, case. Okay, they are climate, architecture, landmarks, nightlife, and cuisine. Okay, okay. I'm going to share it in the Zoom chat. Please, thank you. The next one, please, Zulma. Zulma Yamilet. Who likes the pictures from different places? Carlos. The answer is Carlos. Correct. Ana Pineda, number four. Vicky. Vicky, thank you. Number five, Mirna. Great meeting, sir. Number five, who says that San Francisco is a great place to live? Vicky. Vicky. Awesome. Okay. Sure. Huh? It's just uh, what is the the answer for the number two? Because I have problem. I try. Oh, okay. It's uh, climate, architecture, landmarks, nightlife, and cuisine. Mm -hmm. I'm going to share it with you in the Zoom chat. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time's up, time's up, time's up. Ding, 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 ding. It's time to go. Please continue working on the platform and we will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Thank Good night. you. Bye. Good night, everyone. Bye.